Publishing to a Desire to Learn course. In this movie, we'll look at how to take an assessment that's in Respondus and publish it to a Desire to Learn course. The first step is to make sure that Desire to Learn has been selected from the drop-down list on the Start menu. For this example, a Respondus file is open and the questions for the assessment have already been created. So we'll move right onto the Settings menu in Respondus. Most of the quiz settings shown on these tabs are the same ones available within Desire to Learn itself. By choosing your settings now, they will be included when the quiz is published to the Desire to Learn course. For this example, let's require a time limit of 45 minutes for taking the quiz. And allow students to retake the quiz once. If your institution uses Respondus Lockdown Browser to prevent students from cheating on quizzes that are delivered in Desire to Learn, those settings can be selected here too. With the settings selected, the quiz is ready to be published to the Desire to Learn course. Before publishing a quiz, it's a good idea to preview the file to make sure everything is correct. When ready, close the preview window and select the Publish tab. The Publish wizard guides us through the steps of publishing the quiz to a Desire to Learn course. In the first step of the wizard, you can choose to publish the quiz to a single course or publish it to multiple courses. For this example, let's publish the quiz to a single course. The next step is to choose the Desire to Learn server where the quiz will be published. If the login information for your Desire to Learn course was entered at a previous time, you would simply click Next to continue. But if this is the first time Respondus is being used to publish a quiz to one of your Desire to Learn courses, you then need to go through a couple of extra steps. First, you would paste the URL from a page within one of your Desire to Learn courses. When you click the Extract button, the settings for your Desire to Learn server are then shown in this area. The next step would be to enter the username and password that you use to log into your Desire to Learn server. Finally, if you aren't using a shared computer, click this checkbox so that Respondus will save your server and login settings. This way, you can skip this setup step the next time you publish a test using Respondus. Click OK and the Respondus software will have all the information it needs to connect with your Desire to Learn courses. Now click Next to continue. Your Desire to Learn courses will be shown in this pull-down list. You would then select the course you want to use. Respondus allows you to create a new quiz or self-assessment, replace an existing quiz, or save questions to the Desire to Learn question library. To create a new quiz, enter the name for the quiz here. Respondus automatically supplies a name based on the file that is open, but you can change the name to anything you like. Notice that there are several additional options that can be selected for the quiz. For example, if you want to include the quiz settings that were selected earlier, you have to make sure that the box Apply Settings is checked. Okay, that's the last setting for the Publish Wizard. When we click the Next button, Respondus will start the publishing process. As you can see, the quiz has been successfully published to the Desire to Learn course. Let's take a quick look at the quiz in Desire to Learn. Here's the quiz that was published by Respondus. Let's take a closer look. Okay, everything looks good. We'll now return to Respondus to look at one last feature. Not only can you use Respondus to publish quizzes to the Desire to Learn system, you can also use it to print quizzes or answer keys. From this screen, you can print an assessment, print an answer key, or print both. There are a number of print settings and options available to you. Once those have been selected, you can do a print preview, send the quiz directly to a printer, or you can save the file to another format, such as Microsoft Word or Rich Text Format.
Well, that's a quick tour of the publishing features in Respondus. To learn more about these features, see the online help or the Respondus user guide.